All right, we back on over here. My fucking meat is killing me. What was I going to say something? Oh, yeah, right before you get to that, we about to get a scripture. But I don't know if y'all seen our last video. We had a bunch of uh, photographers out here, a couple of faggots. They, they, I think they actually gay, and they suck cocks. But they's out here steadily taking pictures. It was the third week they's out here, right? And dude came up here. He's like, check out my new lens. Wait, we had it on camera when he said it. He said, I just paid $1,200 for this lens, thanks to y'all. He said $1,200 for this lens, thanks to y'all. And they do cost, they cost more than Yeah, them lens cost more than the camera. Shit. But, uh, but that just proved he, he did so stupid. We told him, and very last time he's taking pictures, he lied, he said he deleted them all, but whatever. But that goes, if he's making money off that, who's he selling these pictures to? It's going to some kind of news publication or something. So they're putting our, she's so fucking stupid. They hate us. They, they, they're against everything we say. They're taking pictures of us. And obviously our pictures are getting published somewhere. They're not going to tell us because they're fucking devils and faggots. They're not going to tell us because we could probably do something. If they're making money off our image, if you make money off our likeness, we, we can get a piece of that. You know that, right? That's legal. I know I know the legal ease. If somebody's making money off your like likeness, you get paid off of that. But them motherfuckers, man. Them mother but they don't understand they helping us. They actually so stupid. They take a high def pictures, nice pictures too. I just had a haircut today too. Look at me. I'm looking fresh. You know what I'm saying? On a nice sunny day, bro, making me look good, you know what I mean? With a high def shit. He just helping us out, bro. They gonna get interested. Like last time he was out here, he took a video of it. And he, he was take a video of his teaching. But he's gonna go show people that video. <laughs> and they go, they're gonna, you're right, he's helping us mark people. He's he's doing the work of the Lord. What's that scripture? There's nothing you can do for the work, Lord, but it, uh, again, just type against the Lord. I'll find it. But that dude made me really mad, man. I really wanted to hurt him. But I'm not a hurt. I don't, I'm, a, I'm a peaceful person. Man, tell you what, like you said, if they would have did that shit in the hood, come up with cameras off in your face like that. It won't go to. I mean, we got cameras out here. We don't be on people like that. You know what I mean? They don't go to the hood. Yeah, they don't go to the hood, man. We would. Man, they would get. First of all, they wouldn't have no cameras. Them cameras would be at the pawn shop. You know what I mean? Or on on Craigslist. Or I'll offer up, bro. If they went to the hood with that shit. Y'all right, right now we fishing, but soon we're gonna be hunting. Go ahead. They shall hunt them from every mountain. Man. From everywhere and out of all the holes of the ground. I can't wait for that. I'm tired of fishing. I mean, I like it, I enjoy it. Man. But you want that we want that reward now. The reward, that reward is yeah, getting my hands around some necks. That's that reward. For my eyes are upon all their ways. They are not hid from my face, neither is there iniquity hid from my eyes. Oh, yeah, so these people's in wickedness. The Lord, see, like your brother said earlier today, the Lord knows every thought that you got going, every nasty little evil thought that you got in your nasty little brain. The Lord knows all that. Yeah, that's right. And first I will recompense their iniquity and their sin double, because they have defiled them, my land. They have filled my inheritance with the carcasses of their detestable and abominable things. <laughs> These people is abominable, bro. Mm -hmm. But them motherfuckers, the people, can't, them camera, there was some Edomites. Them dudes weren't even Israelites. We should have just gave them straight slavery scriptures. But we just ignored them, though. This is uh, Baruch 4 and 25. My children suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon me from the most high. But thine enemies have persecuted thee, but shortly thou shalt see his destruction and shalt tread upon his neck. And that's a little hope and inspiration right there. That's the hope, words of hope. That's literal. That's hope. Everybody wants to talk about some hope and love. You know what hope is? It's hoping and praying that my enemies die. That's the patience of the faith of the saints. He that killeth with the sword will be killed by the sword. Here's the patience and the faith. Faith. So yeah, we pray that our enemies die. And then we get, the Lord gonna give us power and we gonna kill them. And we gonna enslave them. All the people that got us enslaved right now, they going into slavery. They gonna be our slaves. 
And we gonna have slaves. We're gonna beat the shit out of them too. What the fuck y'all thought? The people be on some straight up faggot shit out here, bro. You know what I mean? Oh shit, I was just thinking, man, just out of nowhere, this dude look like Paraza a little bit, made me think. I was watching, did you watch the, uh, the, the, the totally switch the subject? I was just thinking about Paraza. They're the dude, the place where the Toronto Raptors look just like Paraza. You seen him? No. Ibaka? No. The center? No. He looked like Paraza playing center. I can't, I hate the Raptors just because of him. I'm like, back at Psalms 18 and 40. It says, Thou hast also given me the necks of mine enemies. Oh, that's the one I wanted. Where's that at? Psalms 18. Yeah, I was just about to get that one. That's a good one. Read that again. It says, Thou also hast. Oh, no, 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 no. Where you at? Hold on, hold on. What number? All right, just read it. Because that whole chapter is fire. I mean, that, yeah, that whole book, yeah. It says, Psalms 18 and 40. Thou hast also given me the necks of mine enemies, that I might destroy them that hate me. They cried, but there was none to save them, even until Yahweh be answered them not. Then did I beat them small as the dust before the wind. I did cast them out as the dirt in the streets. They had delivered me from the strivings of the oh people. Oh my God, dude. You ever notice in some comic books, they make, they make the hands big as hell. Yeah, they, because you, you, when you squeeze that motherfucker, it's like, ugh. Because you had that hand is like the most, Probably besides your brain, I'd say, and your hands are pretty important, and your dick. But the hands are pretty fucking important. Like, you just want to choke a motherfucker with your hands. Well, the scripture says, when it says hand, a lot of times it represents uh, power. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, a wicked hand. How do, you say, how, how do you say hand in Hebrew? Yod. Yod. Which is a Y and a D. I find that interesting, because a Y, that's the most high. A D, I think of David, you know what I mean? That's the way my mind works. Because it, who, who's the hand of the most high on the earth? Oh, you got something called the hand of the king. Like you're watching Game of Thrones? Hand of the king is the guy, the king don't do shit. He sits on his ass. The hand does all the work. You know what I mean? The real king don't do shit. He got fucking advisors and fucking people. But that's us. We're doing the work for the king. Yeah, we're his hand. Oh, the right hand. He said, sit on the right. Your house shines on the right hand side of the most high. But no, for real though, just looking at the Hebrew word hand, just kind of, there's some mysteries in that word, you know, about a hand creates, right the most hand, high create, the right hand, you know what I mean? It says, it says, uh, that has delivered me from strivings of the people and has made me the head of the heathen, that people have not known. Oh, the head of the heathen, which proves that the Israel's above all nations. And that's King, that's a song, that's David's song. Ain't that called the Song of David? The name of the Sir. song is the Song of David. So I'm going to read the head of the So this script. was David's masterpiece right here, you know what I mean? It says, to the chief musician, the song of David, to the servant, it's like the servant of Yahweh, who spoke to Yahweh, the words of the song of the day, Yahweh delivered him from the hand of all the enemies. Delivered? The song. Man, that's a big, that whole, you got to just read the whole chapter. Let's go. Sure. Yeah, let's get to it. Like, let's read it. Let's just read a little bit of it. Psalms 51, I will love thee, O Yahweh. No, 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 no. Where you at? You said old chapter. Right? Oh, I thought you said 18. Oh, shit. Oh, you Where said 50. My okay. bad. 50 verse one. Oh, okay. It says, Psalms 18 and 1, I will love thee, O Yahweh, my strength. Yahweh is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God and my strength, in whom I will trust my buckler and the home of my salvation. Oh, somebody came up earlier. It was like, what's the, uh, he was bugged out, though. He can't even talk to him. But he was like, what's, He's like the armor of God, the shield of God. We like, and brother was like, "What is that?" He's like, "Oh, you know what I mean." But the word of God, the shield, the buckler—that's his truth, that's his knowledge, the wisdom, knowing the name of the Lord, knowing that you're an Israelite, knowing all, knowing the truth. Yeah, the whole, yeah, the whole, yeah, the whole truth, not just a portion of it. Not saying, "Oh, the Sabbath is on Saturday sundown, uh, Friday sundown, the Saturday sundown." That's not the truth. Go ahead. It says, In my high tower, I will call upon Yahweh, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. Yeah, I'm saved from my enemies. It's a good scripture, Frank. We, we was just, the damn devil was up here. They didn't have guns on us this time. They had cameras on us. What they using as a weapon? They're they going to print up some nasty article about us. You know what I mean? 
bunch of goddamn devils. Fall, yeah, Baron falls with you. But in the righteous king, the Lord, the Lord gonna give us the necks of our enemies, bro. We gonna choke the life out of them. Don't they under, they don't understand that? They think it's a joke. They're they, they like we're, we're serious. They over here laughing and joking. We mean in business. You know what I'm saying? We building up the look. The, the, we ain't doing shit. The Lord is building up the Lord's army. We building up that. What you think we gonna do, bro? Go ahead. It says they think it, they think it's a joke when we say they're going into slavery. Like I guess it's haha. It's a joke. No, that's that's a fucking joke. It's fucking reality. Go ahead. It says the sorrows of death compassed me, and the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrows of hell compassed me about. And that's what the ungodly man is. Main un ungodly man is Esau. And then you got all the, the wicked ass two third Israelites. Go ahead. The snares of death prevented me. In my distress, I called upon Yahweh and cried unto my God. He heard my voice out of the temple. Like out of his temple, and my cry came before him even into his ears. Hey, the most I like to say people last minute too, you know what I mean? You know how Jake be last minute on everything? I mean, you know, I'm, I'm always a couple minutes late to work, bro, just to see how far I can push it. But the most high, he gonna come, he gonna save us at the last moment. You know, I think there's a scripture that says that too. And we gonna, like the scripture said, we're gonna be amazed at the strangeness of our salvation. Go ahead. It says, then the earth shook and trembled. You claiming that? The foundation. Not that one, the other one. You know what I'm saying? It says, uh, then the earth shook and trembled. The foundations also of the hills moved and were shaken because he was brought. Yeah, so how, how did the hills and mountains start shaking and shit? Not a volcano. We had a volcano out in uh, Hawaii. Yeah. Shook. But that's talking about those missiles right there. That's a that's missile. Shit, so, a volcano? Yeah. Volcano destroyed a whole state. Yeah, we got the biggest volcano here in America. Yeah, up in uh, uh, they're underground though. The old, uh, Yellowstone National Park. They said that bitch is ready massive. to blow. That bitch is massive too. I pray the Most High activated. Hit that button. I mean, I know, man. I know, I know. I mean, I think it's this week, man. Uh, Trump will make the decision to stand in the Iran deal or not. Just Saturday, I think it's just Friday or just Saturday. Well, he gonna do something to appease his Jewish masters. So. Netanyahu, you said we gotta confront Iran sooner than later. I think he gonna do what Netanyahu says. Oh, man. What do you think? I'm praying. I'm praying. Because he said he called. He don't even call him Netanyahu. He calls him Bibby. Bibby. That means he's all good friends with him. I'm praying, man. I'm praying. Regardless, something about to happen. <laughs> Because Jerusalem, the, the, the U.S. Embassy in Jerusalem opens, I think, this week. That's oh, yeah. This yeah, week. yeah, it is. You're right, though. That's that's a big deal, right? Because they're going to attack. They're going to bomb the hell out of that embassy. <laughs> they're going to fire the bomb that bitch the first day. So. Right, hold on. Let me get the scripture. Here we go. Let me get something. Let me get something. My Bible need a rest, man. My Bible can't wait to get to the kingdom. It can't take no more tape. <laughs> Up, I have my old Bible. I had to retire. I was missing a whole chapter, bro. She been like, I could never get Romans 8. Everybody, like, Romans 8, give me that. I go get it. I'm like, I ain't got Romans 8. I was missing Romans. That was messing me up. I'd be hit Romans 8 all the time. Because 9's on the other side. You need that one too. Wow. Baby, we got a little ways to go, baby. Just, what just hold fuck? on, baby. Just hold on. What was that? Yeah, right, right. Boy, you want a purse? They do got purses now. They got dudes rocking Gucci purses and shit. Just because it's made by Gucci don't mean it's fucking cool for a man to have a purse. And they got different. First Thessalonians 5 or 2, for yourself know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. You know, these people ain't looking for it anyway. So yeah, just when you least expect it. He don't, they don't, they don't even have to come as a thief. They're not looking for it anyway. Hey, so, yep. <laughs> it's just like when you be at a party. When everybody's having a good time, 
that's when someone gets shot or the baby drowns in the pool and dies or something real fucked up happens. It's always when you least expect it is when the most fucked up shit happens, you know? That's how it's gonna be when the Lord returns. When the motherfuckers are driving that car under that bridge, they didn't expect that motherfucker to drop in their heads. Hell no, they just probably listen to their favorite song was on the radio or something. They was probably watching child porn. Yeah, and watching that TV that got mounted in that probably shit. Probably so. <laughs> Get some roadhead or something. <laughs> they died for some reason. My girl right there, I'll take that one. Hell yeah. Yeah, I do watch some of the commercials and shit. People were talking about the future. This is not gonna be our future. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying like a thousand gigs on phones and shit. All the, they, thousand? They took all this shit. Yeah. Yeah. What's a terabyte? A terabyte is a thousand gigs. Well, roughly speaking, it's about a thousand. I do a lot with that, man. It's a lot of shit I will still huh? have. It's a lot of shit. Man shall not eat by bread alone. What? Yeah, wait till we're done. What? <laughs> Can't be out here eating while we teach him. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them. Yeah, travail. Yeah, peace and safety. Y'all always think everything gonna be all gravy, gonna be peace and safety. Y'all think it's gonna be a happy day? What? The U.S. just, um, uh, I don't know if they activate or not, a new uh, submarine part of the Navy. Oh, I see that. East Coast, I yeah. the East Coast. But that tells you they was slipping to begin with. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> that tells you the Russia, they just pretty much admitted that's the Russia. That's in the scripture. See what you got over here? Yeah. That's actually in the scripture. Yeah. That tells you they really worried about Russia. You know what I mean? I think it's a secret. There's a name for that, too. I, all this time, I remember I did a whole fucking research on that, too, man. It told so much time passed. You just, you just, you just, you just yeah, I was shit, reading man. that. That was a top story on drugs. That's crazy, man. One Rich. of the top stories. Yeah, uh, yeah, there's some fucking weird spirits out here right now. Like a fucking, a damn, <laughs> that demon portal just opened. And what is that movie, The Army of Darkness? Remember the Army, of, you seen that movie, Army of Darkness? Yeah. It's like when he said them it's words, comedy. and now all the motherfuckers start coming out the cut. <laughs> yeah. That's and that, I love movie. that movie, yeah, man. I do too. That's, I a, do. that's my shit. That dude was a clown. Bro. Yeah, that's my boy. The main, uh, the main star. Bro. Bruce Campbell is the actor. He a Jake for your ass. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bruce Campbell. He's a clown. Bro. Yeah, he's a clown. <laughs> I wouldn't mind watching it because I ain't seen it since then. They got to watch them all. Evil Dead 1, 2. Right, right. Yeah. Evil Dead 2 is the best. Army Darkness is good, though. Well, that spark ready to be, they're ready to be lit in the Middle East. I ran both and they talking shit to him. Nobody gonna attack us. Nobody gonna attack us. Man, I hope they fucking do. I pray to the Lord they nuke. Well, we already know it's gonna happen. We still gonna pray for it though. Here comes your boy. They think that North Korea is coming to South Korea. But it's not gonna make. That's probably they probably they probably because uh. Uh, before the meeting of uh, North Korea and Trump. Did they, they set a date or? Um, it's like what? next week or something, ain't it? Two weeks? Yeah. And, and Kim Jong-un just told him that Trump was fucking shit up. He's like, you need to stop lying about uh, why we uh, came to this agreement. That's, you're lying, is what he, he told Trump. America just look bad because they, they can't punk them, punk them. That's how it is when a bully trying to punk somebody and the motherfucker was standing there. Well, hit me then, motherfucker. Because you the don't know what would be because you don't know what kind of, because North Korea never even said what they agreed on because it was obviously secret. So North Korea probably gave them an ultimatum too, you know? I just don't see dude stepping down just for, oh my God, it's magical Trump. Get the fuck out of here, man. The only way he's, if Trump get him to step down or uh, do whatever he does is because he's going to build a casino over there, give him a bunch of money. He gonna get some benefits, some crazy benefits out of it. Personally, I just see war. <laughs> yeah, that's why I see war. <laughs> I, per I do, man. I see that war. I see that whole era, era lighting up. Man, I see, yeah, because you think that North and South are gonna reunite and they gonna get revenge on America. China didn't build that military base on that island for nothing. Oh hell no. You know, and the U.S. already said China done already placed missile defense systems there. <laughs> so, why you think the United States is so worried about them having that island? Mm -hmm. Cause they know they gonna get fucked up. That's just strategic. China got them bad missiles, boy. Sure, <laughs> fucking China. Wasn't China making America's missiles? <laughs>
Everything made in China. You forgot to tell them that you no know, man, you can't make weapons over there. So I got a program, so they shoot them and they turn right back. Yeah, they turn right back around. Like whole oh, ancient Chinese secret. You should listen to the scriptures. Say never trust thine enemy. <laughs> Shit. Never trust thine enemy. That's right. As a, what does it go? Is a ru rust of iron or something? Iron rust this? China got this whole country out. Man, China and Russia do. They, they worried about China and Russia hacking the electric grid. Uh, well, look, man. China got to have all kind of uh, espionage going on. All Almost all electronics are made in China. Mm. All iPhone, all iPhones are all made in China. Mm. They're all made by Foxconn. Manufact that. Well, you know that. I well, was, most I of them. I don't know why I kept thinking China. Nah, Japan don't, Japan don't make shit no more either. Right. I mean, Japan designs this shit, but they ship it off. They, they actually do the mass production in China because it's cheaper. Because Japanese is like Americans, bro. They, they ain't working for fucking five cents an hour. I know that's They're like, you got to pay. In Japan, they get paid good over there. I know that. I know. I know. That, 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 that to them, that little manufacturing job is for, for the peasants. He think he live, do you know he old school listening to some Tupac. He's probably 40. What's up, homie? You, you know when you see some somebody our age, they bumping that old rap. And it disgusts me when I see a motherfucker our age playing this new shit. Oh, that new shit, bro. Like, wow. There's a couple of new ones I kinda like, but most like what? Like what? I don't know. I ain't gonna say it on camera. <laughs> they gonna get me. No, I can't find nothing new, man. Actually I did this big fat white girl man at the same time. Uh, Jeremiah 15, uh, 29. It says, Call together the archers against Babylon, all ye that bend the bow, camp, camp against it round about, that none thereof escape. We convince her according to her work, according to all that she hath done to do unto her. And she hath been proud against Jehovah, against the Holy One of Israel. Is not America the one that's proud against the, the Holy One of Israel? I mean, this is a, God, this is a country. Where they say you can worship whatever god you want. Haggis can get married. It, oh, damn. He, oh, he a contractor. He can get paid. I was thinking about... My dude keep trying to talk me to get the LLC. Go do some contracting work. Fuck all that. Man, that's why I hate this fucking... You can't do shit in this faggot-ass country without doing a bunch of fucking faggot-ass paperwork. You're getting fucking permits and paperwork this and tax this Taxes. and fill out this fucking form. How about you shove it up your ass? How about you do that? That's some frustrating shit, too. That's some frustrating. Like, all this little bullshit sitting in your way of getting some shit done. Like, you can't build a house. So you, you need a second bathroom in your house. You can't put an addition without getting permission from the government. You know what I mean? You just trying to get an extra toilet so you can take a shit in peace. Nah, motherfuckers, you gotta get permission from the government to build onto your house. That's your shit. You gotta get a new job, you gotta get a license place, car. Every year. Like, Why are you doing this shit? Once a year, you gotta get taxed. Get Every hungry. year. I only had three bitches of like four or five in there. You gotta get hungry. No, I appreciate it. I'm good. Thanks, Thanks anyway. Right. I'm sure somebody might want it. Hey, 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 hey. You know you're an Israelite, right? I'm Russian. Oh, wow. Russian from Moscow. Bands up. Russian from Moscow. It's Russian you said. Russia going to destroy America. I know that's right. Fuck America. I've been I've been telling I stand up politics. My name's Oleg, by the way. Oleg. When I, I, mean, see, I, I, I try not to talk about politics and say, oh, I always end up knocking somebody the fuck up when they get too set to it. Oh, my goodness. You're so good, man. They're yeah. like, oh, America's a superpower. I said, America was a superpower. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. like, yeah. America's said, technology is far behind. I said, why, I said, why do you, I said, why do you think the Russians have been sitting idly for over 30 years? Not because they were scared of America, because they were building their electronics up, the technology to fucking right. destroy America. That's you right. know what he's fucking doing. You was a fucking rude. This motherfucker. That's right. You say something about him here in the middle of the night. Your family's fucking dead. Yeah. He's a dog. That's, that's how you're supposed to handle business. business. What was he part of? The American equivalent of the U.S. Go to KJV. KJV. Yeah. He was head of the KJ, KJV before that. He was a Russian mob. Right. Straight gangster. Well, straight up. I didn't know that. Putin was 
This motherfucker. Oh, right. Russia don't play that little Listen, faggot shit. Yeah. Hell no. You know, think about Russian being they're more manly than American. Yeah, yeah we're, we're, we're special force trained. Yeah. 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 In an early age. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Hey, now they get American. Now they got. Uh, they said girls could join the Boy Scouts now. Wow. What? Oh. <laughs> That's funny. I can't hear you. And they're, they're probably not fighting against the Oregon. They all cry all for him. Can you imagine that? Hey, I'd be happy by the way. I'm I already thought they did that. I'd be like, I'm going to get some pussy at summer camp now. That's it. You got to look at this. This is good. I can't talk on the phone. And the Boy Scouts are some, uh, actually some Freemasonic shit. I love y'all. See you in short. But uh, like I was saying, like me, when I was 12 years old, I was in the army as well. All Russian boys, they were in, it's not what you want, they force you into the military. It's either the military or the fuck they kill you right there. It's beautiful. That, 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 Six years from the time I was 12 to 18, special forces, can, I was in KGB, but I was uh, trained like, like the American. See, I only trained, that's how they was training all of these young boys. Right, right. Man, to be a man. To be a man. To be a fucking man. To not nothing, to not fucking be a scared of nothing. I don't feel no man but fucking that I heard that. I'm a man. It's a man. I tell boy. the people all the time, it's not what you know, it's who you know in this life. Yep. And, 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 and like a lot of these, in Russia, you won't find a fucking kind of power fact anyway. Right, right. They kill them right, right. there, right? They encourage right. that shit here. And here they fucking, they, they give a fucking pedophile last time they were a drug dealer. Sure, yep. I did 14 I'm years in fucking too. federal prison yep. for trafficking cocaine. They never got me with the drug, they got me with money. Oh, never got me in no fucking drug because my right hand man, my thought was my right hand. That's yep. caught with an eight ball. And the reason you gave go to jail. All my routes, gave them everything. What? I was going back from Moscow, I landed in New York, LaGuardia Airport in New York. In 1999, what? fucking feds was on the plane with me as soon as I got off. Center off, we got you right now. I said, You motherfuckers ain't never got me on the phone, never got me on drugs. I never had a cell phone so I can have it because I had right. the people. Right. I wish I'd go back to the right. fucking pager because right. I could attack them. Right. Right. But in Russia, you fuck with a kid, they chop your dick off and hang you right there in the square and leave you there for five days. They told, they told, Putin told uh, Trump, Motherfucker, you think I'm scared of you? He said, you go into Syria one more time, you're fucking dead on the US. It's an actual physical fight. You prove it with Trump's ass. Yeah, listen, it's Putin, Putin, Trump, Putin, Trump, Putin, Putin, Putin's got so much dirt on Trump right now, that's yeah. the reason why yeah. Yeah. he hasn't yeah. struck America, because right. Trump owes him $1.2 billion yeah. for yeah. fucking oil and protection. For, uh, it, 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 it's, it's a whole... Because Trump's wife is Putin's niece. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Wow. Where's all the Russian, Russia, uh, Russian homies at? We had, we had to get drink some vodka. Yeah, well, that's what's going on. Russian homies are in the Brighton Beach, New York. That's where the oh, yeah. Russians are at. They call it Little Moscow or Little Kiev. There's some Russians in Columbus, ain't it? Eh? My uncles are on every nice pawn shop. Oh, yeah? I started with them. This time I started with Russian mob money. That wasn't stolen with no loans. That was all mob money. That was just started. I'll be there. Like, what about us Russians with 